Hi, Claudita. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, hi. Uh, I am at work, teacher. Okay, that's okay, Claudia. No se preocupe. Va a estar de oyente. I am listener. Y yes. tengo poca carga en el teléfono. Espero que me aguante. Vaya, Claudia. No se preocupe. Está bien. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Very nice. Hi, Dani. Hi, Oscar. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? I see you are at home Hello. again. Yes, at my home, happy. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good to know. Yes, yes. Okay, very nice. Carlita is also with us now. All right, very good. And Claudita is at work. Ever acaba de escribir que es driving. He's driving right now, so I guess he's going to connect when he's ready. All right, so we're going to continue today, guys, reviewing or remembering about passive voice, present perfect. Okay, so yesterday, we, hi, Michelle, we saw this, um, the beginning of what is passive voice. Acuérdense que passive voice puede ser en cualquier, casi en cualquier tiempo verbal. All right, y la estructura para hacer una passive voice siempre tiene que ver con alguna forma del verbo be, all right? Si es en presente, vamos a usar is or are. If it's in past, vamos a usar was or where. Vimos ayer que si es en presente perfecto, we're going to use been, all right? Because that is how it is. Thank you, Carlita, está bien. All right, obviamente también lo hacemos con ayuda de uh, los past participles. Entonces, it's very, very important that we know how to do this or how to remember or that we know the past, the past participle verbs, okay? So that's something that we need to do. <clears throat> Voy a esperar otro ratito para los demás compañeros que ingresen. Entiendo que Carlita está ahorita de oyente, igual que Carla Benazir, igual que Claudita. Oops. All right, entonces, permítanme que no se me all right. Eh, vamos a esperar un poco más para que entren los demás y poder hacer un pequeño repaso, ejercicio del passive voice present perfect. But right now, guys, we're going to continue with the book. All right. So let's open it up here. Permítame, I'm going to tell you what where it's here. Okay. So let's work on this right now. Oops. Let's work on this page, page 37, exercise six. Se recuerda, Mariano. Se recuerdan que ayer, before we finished class, we did this, um, Hi, teacher. Hi, this passage, and we had to underline the passive voice sentences. Yesterday, we found four, I think. We found have been left, disorganized. We found, he uh, has been interested, all right, has not been informed, and have been taught. Todos esos son ejemplos de passive voice, present perfect. Right now, what I want you to do, y para los que están y pueden, hi Domingo, I want you to do something like this. I want you to write a short paragraph. Este párrafo tiene two, four, seven lines, I want you to write a four line paragraph de lo que usted quiera, pero que en su párrafo me escriba por lo menos dos uh, sentences usando passive voice, present perfect. Okay, so let's work on that right now. Eso nos va a ayudar para um, como recordar y, y, y ver si lo podemos poner en práctica en normal life. Ok, entonces quiero que escriban un párrafo de cuatro a cinco líneas de lo que usted quiera, pero la condición es que dentro de ese párrafo usted me escriba o usted use dos veces base voice present perfect. Ok, empezamos ahorita. Tenemos las ocho y cinco, a las ocho y diez empiezo a preguntar cómo van con esos párrafos de cuatro a cinco líneas. Do you understand what to do? Yes. Yes, teacher. Great, thank you.
Un párrafo similar a ese, el del manual. Si usted quiere, lo puede tomar de base. Si no, como base o como ejemplo. Si no, puede ser cualquier, eh, de cualquier tema. Si usted gusta, media vez me ocupe el presente perfecto pase voice. ¿Ok? Ok. A ver, por Vicky, Anita and Debbie, que acaban de entrar, me parece, no hace mucho, estamos haciendo un párrafo eh, libre en el sentido que puede, hacer, puede ser de cualquier cosa, un párrafo entre cuatro y cinco líneas, con la condición que dentro del párrafo usted me pueda usar dos veces la, la voz pasiva usando el presente perfecto. So, puede temo, al tomar de base el párrafo último que leímos ayer before we finish class or you can do any of the ones you want. Eso están haciendo sus compañeros, ¿ok? Si lo pueden hacer en la computadora para poderlo presentar cuando terminemos, that would be great. Si no, solo me lo lee, ¿ok? O lo comparten en el grupo y de ahí lo podemos proyectar. Cinco, right. cinco líneas. Yes, teacher. Yeah, yeah, four to five paragraph line, ¿ok? Okay, thank you. Excellent.
All right, ¿cómo van los que ya habían iniciado el párrafo? Everybody okay? ¿Ya terminaron? Did you finish? Hi, Chamba. Hi, Carla Vanessa. Dani, you finished. Oscar, Mariano, Domingo, Vanessa Lemus, finished. So, so. So, so. All right, I'll give you two more minutes, two or three more minutes. En eso para eh, Carla Vanessa and Chamba, si pueden, están haciendo sus compañeros un párrafo de cuatro a cinco líneas de largo, con la, con, puede ser de cualquier cosa, media vez me ocupé dos veces, la voz pasiva, presente, perfecto. Si usted quiere, puede tomar de ejemplo el párrafo último que vimos ayer. All right. O puede escribir cualquier otro párrafo. All right. Relacionado. Hi, miss. Si usted quiera, hi. Who said hi? Hi, miss. Chamba, no. Alguien dijo hi. All right. En un par de minutos empezamos a revisar. Miss, yo voy manejando, pero ya casi llego aquí a la casa. Está bien, chava, no se preocupe. Y, y ya, me, ya me meto de lleno. Yes, no se preocupe, thank you. All right, I'm gonna take the first attendance. Así terminan un par de minutitos más. Tienen un par de minutitos más. I'm gonna take the first attendance en lo que están terminando ahí. All right, you give me a second here. Okay. Uh, Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Um, Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla Benacir Lara González. Hold on. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Perdón, Jorgito, no sé si está. Ya right. menciona Carla Michelle, teacher. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita va usted. Carla Michelle, aquí está. Thank you. Presente. Yes, thank you. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Thank you. Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino. Uh, Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Pacheco. Thank you, Leti. Present teacher. Yes, thank you, Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Yes, Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Vanessa. Present, Miss. Yes, thank you. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Walter Marcos, thank you. Walter Omar Casaneda Perlera. Ana María. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Present, teacher. 
Vicky Dinora Gutierrez. Present, Thank you. Present and teacher. Yes, Bismar Ulises Martinez Ortiz. And Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Debbie. All right, guys, let's see. So everybody's finished. Si no ha terminado aún, no se preocupe, continúe. Vamos a empezar con los que ya terminaron. Yes, Claudita, thank you. All right, a ver, Dani, I want to hear your paragraph. No sé si puede compartir o solo me lo va a leer. Permítame. Only, only read, teacher. Okay. Okay. Um, at my workplace, we have a lot of vehicles. The transportation department needs to organize all the key because all key have been left lying around. Oh, okay. And the manager needs the new employee to be organized in that, you know, ya no encontré como meter el otro. Okay, that's okay. All right, pero, pero metió uno, that's good. Okay, yes. organized, yes. very good, thank you. Let's see. Um, okay. Thank you, Dani. Who else is finished? Vanessa, Noemi, are you finished, Vanessa? Yes, uh, I think. Okay. Are you going to okay. share or are you going to read? No, I'm going to read. Okay. Um, Tunkovich has been visited by my family in many trips, but we prefer to prefer other places like mountain. For enjoy or vacation, a plan has been made with different ideas to interesting places of our country. For the more, a car has been rented by my dad. Excellent, very nice, Bunny. Okay. Very well done, thank you, I like that. Very well done, thank you. All right, let's see, Mariano, finished? Not yet? Oscar, no, finished? Teacher, no. Okay, Mariano, put it in. <laughs> A ver, Oscar, finished? Okay, my short sentence or my short paragraph <laughs> is the staff has not been invited to the meeting to next Monday. And also, they has not been coordinate the visit a new branch in my company. Okay, solo esa tenía duda. ¿Me puso has o me puso have? La última. Has. Léame el, un poquito antes de llegar al has. And also, the has not been coordinated okay. the visit a new branch. Okay, all right. It has, uh, it has not been coordinated, ¿verdad? Con Ede lo puso. No, me faltó la de. Okay, all right. Very good. Thank you. Nice. Let's see, Walter, do you have yours? Yes, I have. Okay. In the musical events have been starting on time these years. I remember a year ago was different. Um, each musical event had been started one or two hours late. Also, this year the parking space has been improved because no one was left without, without it. Furthermore, the security has been assured. Everyone says that the event was a success. Okay, okay, all right, very nice. Thank you, Walter, good. All right, excellent. Anybody else? Domingo, I don't know, Carlita, Vanessa, if you have it. All right, or Anna, if you want to share yours or you want to read it, that's fine. Yes, teacher. Thank you, Anna. Um, a cherry trees are impressive in their best season. In Japan, they are, they are carried mm -hmm. for by a specialist who check from the temperature to the amount of water they should receive. Mm -hmm. Its color and texture give an incredible decoration for the immense roots of the big city. Okay. Creo que solo usé dos, no, uno, teacher. Uno, uno, está bien. Yes, that's okay. That's fine, Anita. That's great. Okay, very good. Thank you. Carla Vanessa, I don't know if you have yours ready or anybody else that's able to. Yes. Si Debbie or Leti. Yes, Carla. Okay. Uh, I have been worked 
all day in specifically rush orders that are past due. And my supervisor has been met to the customer service representatives to get better results. All right, okay, okay. Nice, thank you. Anybody else? I don't know if Letty or Debbie or um, anybody that's available. Your teacher. Okay, Debbie. Wait a minute, teacher. Okay. Este, quiero ver. Ay, Dios mío. What happened, baby? Es que se me bloqueó esto. Vaya, puse, many people have, many people have been exposed, exposed to COVID-19. Mm -hmm. But there have been millions who have also been safe. Oh, all right. Some people continue to care, to care of themselves. It has been hard to lose a family. Uh -huh. A family member, maybe. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, very good. Yes, very good. <laughs> Great. Thank you. All right, guys. Very good. Thank you for those uh, paragraphs. All right. So uh, we're going to move on. Para ir cerrando lo del passive voice, les voy a poner igual acá. No, ¿saben qué? Si se los, voy a, lo, se los voy a compartir, tanto aquí como en el grupo de WhatsApp, pero lo van a ir a hacer juntos, so para que you guys help each other. Just give me a second here. All right. Igual los que no pueden unirse a los grupos se me quedan por acá. Y voy a poner antes que se vayan un link y lo trabajan en sus grupos. Denme, denme un segundo. Cuando ustedes terminen, le pueden dar terminar. Y cuando le den terminar, les va a dar dos opciones. Una es ver mi, ver mi resultado y la otra mandar al instructor. De, denle clic a ver mi resultado. Y ahí les va a salir si sacaron 10 de 10, 8, 9, etc. All right. So. Se van ahí. Esa es el, 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 la dirección. All right. Please work it in groups. Yo lo voy a mandar también al grupo de WhatsApp. Let me know when you finish. Me van mandando eh, aviso de que ya terminaron, ¿de acuerdo? Ahí tienen que digitar, entonces cuidado con lo que digitan. Si se les va una letra de más o una de menos, se las pone mal. No les ha abierto la sala aún.
All right, guys, finished? Yes? Yes, you can. All right, very good. Okay, so Mariano, ya te contestó, Mariano. <laughs> what do you have for number one, Mariano? For number one. Uh -huh. eh, la respuesta, o se la leo también la pregunta. Eh, la respuesta, so many cool. Uh -huh. Perfecto. So many cool videos have been made by Diet and Will. And word. Yes, very good. And word, very good. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Number two. Uh, Domingo, what do you have for number two? Uh, number two is a new cheaper iPhone has been released. Released, 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 is by, released, releases, released uh, by Apple. By Apple, very good, excellent. Number three, Walter. Sorry, uh, they have told me otherwise. I have been told otherwise. I have been told. Yes, I have been told otherwise. Very good. Uh, number four, let's see. Um, Danny, what about number four? Okay, teacher, the number four. Oh, I'm a new man. <laughs> oh, no, they have finally, so, finally finished the building. ¿Qué le pasó? ¿Cómo la pusieron? Yes, the building has, ahí está bien. Ajá. Finally. Y luego le puse been finished. No sé, me equivoqué mal. Tenía que haber sido. Um, the building has finally been finished by them. By them, maybe, yeah. Sí, en ese caso, si están poniendo, eh, ellos querían que pusieran by whom, entonces tendría que ser by them al final. All right. Mm -hmm. Si no, okay. no podríamos dejar, y no es que estuviera mala, Daniel, si usted la tiene, the building has finally been made, uh, has finally been finished, hasta ahí está bien también. Sí, pero right. me la puso mala, no sé por, no sé por ¿No qué. ¿Cuál verás? Sí, been finished, lo que le puse, has finally been finished. ¿Y el been cómo lo escribió? B-E-E-N. Ajá, y finished, ¿qué le? Ese, ah, no, finish. Finish, me le puso Dani. Y me de, sí, cabal. No, 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 all right. Ahí está lo malo. En okay. un perro de dedo, very good. All right, let's see. Yes. Oscar, that's okay. Oscar, can you please do number five? Teacher, no las copié. Ah, no las hice. Estaba trabajando con, right. con Walter. Okay, that's okay, that's fine. Ah, uh, let me see here. What about Vane, Vanessa Noemi? Number five, the government hasn't helped people. Vane? Vane me está hablando, no le escucho. <laughs> No one. All right, no se preocupe. Usted arreglalo ahí, tranquila. Ever, do you have that one? ¿Logró hacer alguna, Ever? I think. What number? Por, por cuál van? It's number five, the government. The government hasn't helped people. Ah, okay. People have been helped by the government. It's in negative, right, Ever? Haven't. Yes. People, yes. Yes. People haven't been helped by the government. Thank you. All right. Number six. Let's see here. Um, Vicky, tiene la número seis usted, Vicky? No. All right. Trini, do you have that one? Okay. Anita, do you have number six? No, teacher. I, I'm not finished the okay. last one. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. Carla Vanessa, do you have number six? Yes, Yo la teacher. tengo, pero mala. A ver, Domingo, usted hace la siete. A ver, Carla Vanessa, you can do number six. Okay. 
the rules haven't been followed during this time. Ah, the rules haven't been followed. All right, during this time. Okay, very good. ¿Qué le pasó en esa, Domingo? ¿Por qué la tiene mala? Dice the rules have it not ah. been following. Followed, ¿verdad? Followed. No está leer aún mala, porque creo que le pusimos el have not y okay. era contractado. Exacto. All right. So, yeah. Okay, Tini, está bien. Si usted lo puso have not separado, está bien también. Lo que pasa es que como las plataformas solo, por lo general solo le toma una respuesta, ¿verdad? Pero sí, si usted puso have not, está bien, Domingo. Very good. Domingo, a ver, number seven. Ah, ok. Teacher. Ay, yes. Yo le dije a Trini, todavía contratado. <risa> All right. Sí, fue mi culpa, yo sé. Oh, no, Trini. All right, that's ok. A ver, number seven, ¿quién hace la number seven? Teacher. Hola, Vane. Hoy sí me escucha. Sí, hoy sí, súper bien. Ah, pues tiene hoy la siete. La... Vaya, está bien, Vane, sí, haga la siete. Ya, ¿cómo se dice? Gasoline. Gasoline, sí. Así se dice. Sí. Ok. Gasoline hasn't been used in a month. Excellent. Gasoline hasn't been used in a month. Very good. Nice, nice pronunciation or of used. Very nice. Number eight. Let's see, Mariano, can you please do number eight? Number eight. Okay. Uh, a lot of to toilet pa paper have been bought. Yes, a lot of toilet paper. Uh, have le puso. Has, has. Has. All right. Yeah. All right. A lot of toilet paper has been bought. Very good. Number Teacher, porque ahí es has y dice a lot of. Oh. Muy bien. Very good, Vanny. Lo que pasa es que paper eh, es, es un non-count noun. All right. Entonces es singular siempre. Es como que usted diga traffic. Puede haber mucho tráfico, Vanny. Pero usted no dice un tráfico, dos tráficos, tres tráficos. All right. Mm. Ahora, si usted lo quiere hacer contable, mm. usted dice one sheet of paper or one piece of paper or five mm. pieces of paper. All right. Ahí lo vuelve contable. Mm. Pero si solo dice paper en general, Vane, es singular porque es un non count mm. noun. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Thank All right. You. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right. Debbie, a ver, Debbie. The next. Hola. Teacher. Yes. A second. Yes. Maybe. Maybe it will be in three sentences too. Uh, a lot of toilet paper has been bought by the people. A lot of, yes, yes. A lot of toilet paper has been bought by the people or by people, sí. Ahí en el, acuérdense, Ever, que la voz pasiva nos permite poner por quién fue hecha la acción o omitirlo, u omitirlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted le puso by people, está bien. Si no le puso by esa frase de by alguien, está bien también. Ok. All right. Ok, thanks. Que en la voz pasiva lo podemos omitir, ya sea porque no sabemos, no es importante o no es interesante. All right. Ok. Excellent. Very nice. Now, Debbie, the next one, please. Number nine. Yes. Lots of, lots of jobs have been lost. Excellent. Yes. Lots of jobs have been lost. Usted le, eh, no sé si le pusieron by people. Okay. All right, pero si no es lots of jobs have been lost. The last one, number 10. Who wants to do number 10? Alguien que no haya todavía dado alguna respuesta? Number 10. Trini, do you want to do number 10? No la copé, teacher. Ah, okay, Domingo. Domingo está trabajando con Cerda. Ajá, Domingo. Usted sí la tiene. Eh, teacher, la tengo mala. A ver, ¿cómo la tiene? Uh, homework have been sent. Ok. Puso have. Drawn. Sí, have. Ajá. Through the internet this... space. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Through the internet space. Y le salió mala porque en lugar de have tiene que ser has. Igualito que el paper. Homework siempre es singular. Siempre, así usted tenga 10 tareas. 
Una cosa es en español y otra cosa es en inglés. En inglés nosotros decimos I have many homework. No, dice, no, no decimos I have many homeworks. Nunca. All right. Homework siempre es singular. Entonces por eso le salió mal a Domingo. Póngale has en lugar de have. Ok. Y, che, y también yes. se puede decir a lot of homework. Yes, a lot of homework. Eso le, usted puede decir me, eh, much or a lot of or whatever, pero homework sin la S. Ok, mm, man. Okay. Carla Vanessa. Mm -hmm. Got it. Excellent. Very nice. Ok, ¿quién sacó 10 de 10? ¿Sacaron varios 10 de 10? ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿No? ¿Soso? 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 A mí me puso 3 de 10, pero es porque las otras no le puse contratado. Ah, ok. All right. Ok. All right. Very good. Ever, ¿cuánto tiempo? Pues yo tengo que ver. Tengo 6 porque sí. eh, me puso malas by people. Ah, ok. All right. Ok. Pero eso se puede poner. Ok. Estaría bien. Las otras 7, fíjate. Ah, bueno. Ok. Nice. All right. Very good, guys. Excellent. Okay, so let's continue here then now. Voy a tomar la segunda asistencia ya de la noche y luego seguimos ya con el manual nuevamente. Just give me a second, guys. Uh, oh, no. Hold on. I did something. Just wait for me. All right, Abner Eli, Fuentes Flores, Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. All right, we have here uh, Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez, Daniel Antonio Luna. Very good. Uh, Domingo Alexander González. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Thank you, Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present, Miss. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Walter Omar Castaneda Pérez. <laughs> Ana María. Present. Yes, thank you. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Present. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. And David Josmin Giron Ramírez. Present. Great, thank you. All right, so we're going to continue here. Yes, Carlita Benacid y Claudia, ya las tengo ahí. Very nice. We're going to continue right now with the book. All right, and we're going to... Again, let's close my window. We're going to proceed with the next page. I believe is page. Oh no, we're still working on the same page. Page 37 ahorita. So go to your page 37 y ya le comparto acá. All right, so here we have this. It says your turn, group work. Choose one of the most critical hazards identified in the previous lesson brainstorm ideas on how to prevent uh, accidents related to that particular hazard. Design a poster featuring three safety measures. Entonces, en este sí necesito que trabajemos en computadora. Igual, si en caso usted no tiene, pues hágalo en su cuaderno, le toma foto y lo envía. Y hoy sí lo vamos a compartir. All right. Entonces, what do you have to do? Whoa. What you have to do is this. A ver, cuando hablamos de los hazards, acuérdese de esto, voy a subir hasta acá. 
Teníamos office hazards, electricity and fire hazards, hazardous substances, slips, trips and fall risks. Ok, entonces lo que voy a hacer es, yo le voy a asignar en los grupos que están el tipo de hazard que quiero que me hagan un póster que está en su página acá 37 y dice no van a escoger porque yo se lo asigno. All right? Entonces ahí vamos con eso. Luego ya en el grupo tienen que hacer brainstorm ideas on how to prevent the accidents. All right? Related to the particular hazard I assigned. And then design a poster. Así como este dice attention. No se le puede poner attention. Be careful. Be, be aware of. Beware. Como usted quiera. Para llamar la atención, imagínese que usted lo va a poner así como en la entrada del lugar donde está, del trabajo. New safety measures. Eso sí, se lo van a poner tal cual porque en teoría son cosas nuevas, medidas nuevas de seguridad que ustedes están implementando in the office, in the workplace, related to your hazard. ¿Verdad? Si usted, si usted está hablando de electrical hazard, no me vaya a salir con eh, levantar las cajas. No tiene nada que ver el electrical hazard con el office hazard, ¿ok? Three, three ideas similares a estas, pero no quiero igual estas, no quiero copy paste, ¿ok? All right, so, y eso sí lo van a presentar. Entonces, por favor, téngalo listo para cuando regresemos aquí. Uh, a ver, en la sala uno tenemos a Debbie, Oscar, and Walter. ¿Están los tres ahí adentro de, están trabajando los tres? Yes. 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 All right. Okay, so you guys, ustedes van a trabajar en office hazards, okay? Yes, ese es su poster, related to office hazards. A ver, eh, eh, Trini, Domingo y Carla Michelle, si gusta, se une al grupo, Carlita, para trabajar con ellos. You guys are working on electricity and fire hazards, all right? Eh, Daniel, Carla Vanessa, and Vicky, you guys are working on hazardous substances. Okay. Uh, Mariano, usted está trabajando solito. No, con Vanessa. Vanessa, Vanessa, Vanessa Lemos. Reyes. Yes. Pero ahorita se salió. No, ahí está. All right, a ver, Mariano and Vanessa, Vanessa Noemi, I want you to work on slips, trips, and false risks. Okay. Ah, el mismo que copiamos el que está ahí, dice. Ah, yeah, whatever, Mariano. <laughs> All right, a ver, y me, ¿quién, me, ¿quién me queda que no está asignado en los grupos? Ever, usted, ¿cuál está ahí? Ninguno, ¿verdad? Ever, porque estaba ocupadito, ¿verdad? All right. Voy a añadir una sala entonces y ahí va a trabajar Ever con Chamba. ¿Alguien más que no esté trabajando todavía en grupo y que ya pueda? Anita. Yo, sí. Ah, vale. Entonces, Anita, usted se va a ir con Ever y Chamba. Ya los voy a habilitar a ustedes también, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. All right. Ok. Ana se va con Ever. Y chamba. Vanesita, usted está con Mariano, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, ya la mandé. Leti, ¿usted ya puede participar, Leti? Yes, teacher. Ever, les asigné el tema. ¿Verdad que no? Office hazards, el de office, el primero. Él le dice a sus compañeros, ok. All right. Claudito, usted tampoco puede, ¿verdad? A ver, Walter and Domingo, you can go to your groups. Danielito, ¿qué se me hizo? Daniel and Carla Vanessa. Yes, we are here. No le salió la invitación, Carlita. I'm here, teacher. Ni a Daniel ni a Carla le salió la invitación para trabajar con Vicky. ¿Cómo no? Solo que no estamos pasando la copia en WhatsApp. <risa> Excelente, Carla. Ahorita nos vamos. Excelente, vaya. 
Vale. Teacher. Hola, Leti. Yo sí puedo participar. Vaya, ahorita la mando. La voy a mandar con Mariano y con Vanessa Noemí. De acuerdo, Leti. Ok, pero okay. antes, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Ah, van a hacer un póster parecido al que está en su página 37 sobre el hazard, el riesgo que yo les, acabo, les asigné en el grupo, pero yo creo que los compañeros se acuerdan cuál les asigné. Guay, perfecto. Excelente, thank you. Thank you. Teacher, ¿me puede meter a la sala 6? Perdón, que me salí. Sí, ahorita. Va, Janita.
All right, let's see. Debbie, you were in group two, right? Debbie, Oscar, and Walter. Yes, teacher. All right, De can you please present? Walter va a compartir. Walter, you yes. have the honors. Thank you. Okay. All right. Can you read it? Oh, nice pictures. I like it. Okay. Keep the correct posture in the chair. Keep your legs touching the floor. Watch where you walk. Okay. Oscar. Maintenance or ventilation or an air condition system. And what? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Respect? Respect the signs and indication about possible risks. Oh, nice. So in this case, both, uh, both are from office, right? Yes, Pasar yes. yes. about office. Yes. Time. yes. All right. Very nice. Well done, guys. I like it. Warning. New safety measure. Very nice. Hold on. Keep the correct posture. Ahora, cuando decimos keep the correct posture, is on the chair. Acuérdense que usted no abre la silla y se mete. Oh. It's on the chair, pero lo demás está bien. Keep your legs touching the floor. Watch where you walk. Maintenance of ventilation and air conditioning systems. Respect signs and indications about possible risks. Excellent. Thank you. I like it. Very nice. Yeah, solo es eso. Uh -huh. Very nice. Okay, thank you, thank guys. You. Great. I like it. Next group we have eh, Trini, Domingo, and Carla Michelle. Okay. Is um, uh, electricity a fire hazard? Okay. All right. Electricity and fire hazard. Okay. Uh, at, attention, yes. no, no suffix uh, measure. Safety, safety measures, Domingo. Safety, safety measure. Uh -huh. Safety measure. Okay. Yes. Uh, um, don't don't Leo, las primeras tres. Okay. Uh, okay. Do not overload electrical outlet. 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 See outlets. Uh huh. Outlet. Okay. Outlet. Check that the fire extinguisher, extinguisher are in good condition. Okay. Use work equipment with caution. Okay. Uh, the proper prototype equipment. 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 Equipment, okay. No, equip, equipment. Equipment. Excellent, yes, uh-huh. Uh, okay. Avoid electrical mm -hmm. exposure mm -hmm. to water. Okay, oh yeah. my goodness, yes. Uh -huh. Dis disconnect electric equipment, mm -hmm. equipment uh -huh. before cleaning or uh, repairing. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, all right. Check. Check electrical uh, connections, the device and device. instructor, the, the instructor period, periodical, periodic, periodically, periodically, uh -huh. periodically, periodically, yes. Uh, don't know play flammable products, new, new mm -hmm. electrical mm -hmm. panels. Okay, a ver. Do not overload electrical outlets. Check the fire extinguishers are in good condition. Use work equipment with caution. Wear proper protective equipment. Avoid electrical exposure to water. Disconnect electrical equipment before cleaning or repairing. Check electrical connection devices and instructions. And 
creo que es en lugar de instructors son instructions. Porque son como las instrucciones, ¿cierto? Instructions, instructions. Instruction. Yes. Let's see right. it. Ajá, con ese. Do not place flammable products near electrical panels. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Excellent. We have that one too. Okay. Great. Then we have uh, Dani, Carla Vanessa, and Vicky Dinora. Okay, teacher, let me share, please. Yes, go ahead. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. This is the first. Danger, danger, hard goals, suspense. Danger, New hazardous substance. Uh -huh. New safety measures, okay? Yes. The next, the next is this. Uh, hard goes materials. Hazardous. Number one, hard goes materials. Number one, always check labels, check the labels of hard goes systems in order to understand the hard goes and controls. Okay. Number two, Carla Vanessa, please. Okay. A storage tanks must be provided with adequate secondary contaminant, at least one ten percent of the volume of the largest tank. Okay. Vicky. Vicky, Must be, attract, must be attracted to hazardous materials at site. Okay. Sorry, teacher, I put a clean and move on her beauty. No se preocupe, I know, I know, that's okay. <laughs> no, 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 I don't know what, in, in, what is thinking me. <laughs> All right, I mean, I guess you're just a little tired. That's okay, though. <laughs> okay, um, number two, three, relevant. Uh, M is the is the M is M is the is is material safety data sheet is a document who who be next to the material hard goes. Okay. Okay. Uh, relevant M is the is must be attached to hard goes materials at site. It's a document. All Number right. four and ensure that you use PPE. PPE is personal protection equipment. Excellent, thank you. And safety precautions according to MSDEs. Number five, Carla Vanessa, please. Okay. Ensure that spill kits are nearby. 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 Spill kits, picture, it's a uh, it's a kit who, es, es, es un, como decirle, es un, son unos, son unos materiales que se utilizan para el, la, cuando se, cuando hay, cuando se cae una, cuando se cae un líquido, para contener un derrame, el oh, kit. Oh, Daniel. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. I have a question. What is MSDS? MSDS is Material Safety Data Sheet. It's a document. Es un documento que acompaña eh, cada material eh, hard dose, uh -huh. every, every hard dose material. Uh -huh. eh, Chemical systems. Yes, es, es, se, le, se le elabora un, un, un MSDS, un Material Safety Data Sheet. O sea, es una hoja con datos técnicos que se que le explica a, los, a, a la persona que lo va a utilizar Ajá. cómo utilizarla y okay. cómo manejarlo qué necesita utilizar y todo eso okay. es una normativa que tiene un código que asigna todos eh, los 
Ey, ahí está pues, la sola seguridad de los okay. químicos. Hoy. Excellent. Wow. Everybody okay. knows about this. Hazardous materials. Very good. Thank you. Carla Vanessa, okay. Vicky, and that. Okay. <laughs> no Trini. It's Vicky. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry. No, no, that's okay. That's fine. All Gracias right. por okay. pensar en mí, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lenny. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Next group is um, Carlita, Leti, Mariano, and Vanessa Noemi. Okay. Y no he sido el primero en ninguno, teacher, qué bueno. Ay, no, eh. ¿Qué pasó ahora? De <risa> <risa> uh, hazard and risk. Sleep strips and file fall risk. Solo que no veo todavía, Mariano. Wait. Ya está compartiendo ese teacher. Pero yo no veo. Sí, eso Pero mira, Vanessa teacher. lo está compartiendo y yo lo estoy viendo. Se mira. Se mira. Give me a second. Sí, Pero, sí, sí, voy a ver otra vez. Ahora ya no. no veo. Ah. <risa> Sorry, Mariano, le quité el impulso. <risa> Uh, ya perdí no, la inspiración. Sí. Ya perdí la inspiración. <risa> Ahora te quedo. Teacher, no, no mira hoy. No veo. Y todos lo ven. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, I can. Oh, yes. yes, teacher. <risa> no tendrá doble pantalla, teacher. <risa> Ajá, eso, eso iba a preguntar. A no ver, a no, a no, a otra pantalla que, está, a, que estuviera viendo. No, estoy viendo, dice Vanessa, no a mí, Reyes, le hemos ha empezado la función de compartir las pantallas, pero no veo. Mm. Hay un muñequito que se está cayendo, hay unas letras. Ah. <ríe> Ahorita ya dejamos de compartir. Sí. Ahorita. Vanessa, no, no, no veo. Veo todo sí, negro, que solo veo el nombre de Vane. Vane. Vane, y si me lo manda a WhatsApp Ajá. y de ahí lo veo. Es, eso, Vane, sí. Para no quitarle eso, el impulso Vane. al compañero Mariano. Qué raro. Ay, no, no me acuerdo qué iba a decir. Ya lo veo. Oh, sí. Ya lo veo. Oh. Oh, sí. All right, ok. Sorry, Mariano. Ya no me acuerdo, teacher, en qué estaba. I don't remember. Impact. Mm. Be careful, dice. Dice be careful. Dice Jay. Be careful. Uh, the hazard and risk is in uh, slip trips and falls. And number one, look at wet floor scenes. Uh, don't look your phone while you're walking. <laughs> okay. Uh, watch your steps. Watch your steps. Mm -hmm. And Vanessa, you can. And okay, number build. four, don't run into the building. And number five, keep free the hallway. Our safety is first. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I like that. No, lo voy a quitar, Vanessa. A ver, look at wet floor sign. Look at wet floor sign. Okay. Don't look at your phone. All right. Don't look at your phone. Es como ir ido en el teléfono. Don't look at your phone. While you're walking, watch your step. Don't run into the building and keep the hallway free. De la vuelta. Keep the hallways free. ¿Cómo? Keep the hallways free. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, very nice. Impact of slips. Yes, very nice. Pobres muñequitos. Our safety is first. I like that. Thank you. Y lo, y lo pude ver. Yeah, that's nice. A saber por qué no lo pude ver. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Let's see. Then we have eh, Anita, Ever, and Chamba. ¿Cierto? Yes. Yes, miss. 
Okay. Okay. We focus uh, on mental health for optimal work. Wow. But by the old personal in our uh, company. Okay. There is a new safety measures. Measures. Mm -hmm. okay. Measures. Yes. New recommendation to minimize work stress and helps improve performance. Wow, Ever, very nice. Okay, Chamba. Okay, number one, set up straight. Number two, position the chair, keyboard, keyboard and monitor in a straight line with your body. Nice. Number three, stretching in your workplace from time to time. Wow, very nice. I like that one. Very good. Hold on. Déjelo ahí, déjelo ahí. New recommendations. Solo si pueden eh, es de cambiar, agregarle. Uy, ay. Agregarle S, new recommendations. For plural. Yeah, plural. All right, new recommendations uh, to minimize. Very good pronunciation ever. New recommendations to minimize work stress and help. Sabe que yo le cambiar ahí, porque como estamos diciendo, nuevas recomendaciones para minimizar el estrés del trabajo y mejorar. All right, quiero, quiero ver, and, hold on, new recommendations to minimize work stress. Ajá, quítele el okay. and mejor y póngale el to. Lo que pasa que es un poquito diferente en español que en inglés, pero le va mejor el to, to help improve performance. All right, very good. Sit up straight, position, position the chair, keyboard, and monitor in a straight line with your body. It's stretching in your workplace from time to time. I like the picture too. That's pretty cool. Nice. Teacher, thank you. I have a question. Yes, Danny. Uh, the mean of stretching. What is the mean? A stretching? En lo que está yes. haciendo la muñequita abajo. Está uh, uh, Ajá. Uh, o relajando, o sea, algo así. Sí, solo que sea okay. arriba en, el, en, el, en, la, en lo que se sube, no va a estirarse mucho porque puede caer. Sí, ahí sí no me puedo. No, eso no, no puede estirarse. Bueno, ahí, eso lo hago yo cuando estoy. Bueno, eso lo hago yo cuando. When I'm when I waiting a, 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 a airplane. Ok. Yes, I work. No I work. I ex I exercise, hago ejercicio porque como estoy parado en la, en la rampa, no, no hay problema. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. you. Excellent. Thank you, guys. I like it. All right. Interesting. Okay. You can stop sharing. Great, guys. Excellent. Good job. All right. Debbie, usted ya pasó, Debbie. Sí, teacher. Sí, me acordé. Perdón. Sí. All right. Very nice. Excellent, guys. I think everybody was able to present. Okay. For the last 10 more minutes, let's go back to the book. All right, so we have finished. We finished this exercise. Que nos pedían aquí. Exercise seven, page 37. We're finished with the attention and the safety measures. Now, let's go here. Unit four, page 38. All right, it says, I will be able to discuss the effects of risks and hazards on business operation. Number one, with the lack of safety measures, Put the operations of a business in danger? What could be some effects of? All right, ya vamos a regresar a esa. Let's read the conversation right now. Gladys and Miguel have just finished working on a risk assessment analysis and the creation of a safety measure manual. Now, they are talking about a competitor at the eye of the storm. Glad. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. 
they were sued because of a because of an employee died when manipulating heavy i tendría que ser heavy con y heavy machinery oh my that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company yeah let alone bad publicity a chain of negative effect might be on their way loss of customers loss of trust in the organization and eventually financial loss totally i'm so relieved we're done with the safety measures manual now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible all right vamos a ver vamos a hacer eh, vamos a leer y luego revisamos vocabulary ever you can be gladys and debbie you can be miguel please okay i am glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual measures excellent i couldn't agree more recently i watched some news about one of our competi competi competitors Com competitors Compet competitors uh -huh, very good they they were you they were so yes. <laughs> They were sued. Sued. They yes. were sued because of an employee, employee perdón, died when manipulating heavy machine, machine, machinery. 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 Uh-huh. Machinery. Machinery. Yes. Oh, my. That's just bad news. And very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let's alone bad publicity and change of negative effect. Mine be on the me be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventuality financial loss. Totally, I am so really bad. Really bad. We're done with the safety measures manual. Now, we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Excellent, thank you, Ever. Thank you, Debbie. All right, I need two more volunteers. I need a Gladys and I need a Miguel. Okay, teacher. Excellent. Teacher. All right, Mariano, you're Miguel and uh, Vanessa fue, verdad? Vanessa, you're Miguel yeah. and you're Gladys. Okay, I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. Excellent. I called in a rumor. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competition competitor. Com competitors. Compet competitors. Uh -huh. Competitors. Okay. They were sued, sued because of an employee <clears throat> that died when manipulating heavy machines. Funny. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. A chain, a chain of negative effect may be on their way. Less a customer, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm sorry, leave it. We're done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Excellent, Vanessa. Thank you, Mariana. Well done. All right, the last two, the last Gladys and the last Miguel, someone that hasn't participated yet. I need a Gladys and I need a Miguel, only one, guys. No Gladys, no Miguel, wow. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Claudita dijo, ¿verdad? 
Yes, teacher. All right, so Claudia, you are Gladys, and Daniel, you are Miguel. Okay. 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 I am glad we are all with the risk assessment process and the safe safety measure manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were so because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh, my dad sues bad news and very bad publicity, publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone for publicity. A chain of negative effect might be on their way. Love of Loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totality. I am so relieved we're done, done with the safety measure manual. No, we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Excellent, Claudita. Thank you, Daniel. All right, guys. Very good. Uh, de verdad que me alegra cuando los oigo leer verbos que terminan con ed y se les escucha very nice. Ya no decimos watched, decimos watched. All right. Very nice, guys. All right. So it's a matter of practice. Acuérdense que de eso se trata, de practicar, practicar, practicar. All right. So vamos a ver eh, antes de terminar y mañana igual iniciamos con esta conversación. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process. All right. And the safety measures, measures, manual. Es como que fuera una ñe, una ñe, manual. All right. No es manual, es manual. Measures, manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued, fueron demandados, sued, because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. No es machinery, es machinery. Okay, machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain. Es así, es ch chain, no es chain, es chain. A chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. No es financial, es financial. Financial loss, totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measures manual. Measures manual, igual que al inicio. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce, como que fuera una E, reduce accidents as much as possible. All right? Rapidito revise ahí eh, vocabulario aparte del demandar. I'm glad, teacher. I'm glad es como que es I'm happy. Glad es un sinónimo de feliz, oh. eh, uh, Daniel. Usted dice, I'm happy today. I'm glad today. I'm glad to hear. Me, me agrada escuchar. Me encanta escuchar. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to hear. All right? Okay. okay. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. Another one? Richard, so. Uh, ¿Dónde está con, eh, ¿Dónde estamos, Vanessa? La que usted dijo, teacher, sue. Ah, sue. sued. They were sued. Fueron demandados. Uh, una demanda es, o oh, eh, ya, cuando están, ya, así se dice, ¿verdad? Cuando uno va y interpone algo, ¿cierto? Es una demanda, sued. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Relieved. Ah, estoy así como, oh, wow, me, no, como, como, no relajado, pero sí como cuando usted dice estoy, que me quedaron un peso de encima. 
Okay, ya estamos ya aliviado. Ya, aliviado, no me salía así. Aliviado. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank All you. Right. I'm so relieved. Estoy tan aliviado o aliviada en este caso. We are done with the safety measures manual, okay? All right. Creo que sería eso, ¿verdad? Sabemos que es trust. Trust es confianza en el caso que se nos haya olvidado por ahí. All right. I think it's fine. Everything else. All right. Okay. So, vamos a dejarlo hasta ahí. Mañana continuamos. Vamos a abrir clase viendo otra vez la conversación. Revisando vocabulary, reading, and pronunciation. I'm going to take the last attendance so you guys can go rest. Let's see here. Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present, teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Jorgito está, ¿verdad? Jorgito. Sí, Jorgito, sí, ahorita. Permítame. Okay. Yes, that's okay. Uh, Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present teacher. Kevin Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present miss. Thank you. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Walter Omar Casaneda Perlera. Present. Ana, yes, Ana María Palacios Araujo. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. And David Jasmine Giron Ramírez. Present. Great, guys. Thank you so much for joining class again. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye now. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Rest. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, Jorgito. Descanse. Descanse igual. Hasta luego. Bye. Take care. Vane. Vale, super bien la lectura, Vane. Congratulations. Yay. I have a question. Yes, dígame. Thank you. Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. en, lo que no, en lo que hicimos del examen, en la tercera decía, I have been told otherwise. Sí. En el pase. Pero, ¿cómo lo traduce eso? Ah. Sí, eso me quedó duda y me salió mala, pero no entendí. Sí, I have been told otherwise. Decía, es sí, como que me han dicho, ajá, es como me han dicho la... de otra forma. Ah. Ajá. ajá, porque decía, la oración decía, they have told me otherwise. Ellos claro. me, me han ellos di me, di me, me han dicho lo contrario. Ajá. Me dijeron lo contrario. Ajá. Entonces sería, pero si empezaba con yo. Ajá. Entonces, por eso me quedó la duda. O sea, no se traduce yo, sino que me han sí, dicho. Sí, exacto. Ajá. Ah, right, ajá. Yes. Entonces, que yo no le, no le encontraba. No le encontraba el sentido. Ajá, pero como yo, yo decía, yo he sido dicho, decía yo. Entonces, ok. No puede ser así. Así como, no, ahora right, sí, ¿no? Ajá. ajá me han okay. dicho lo contrario. Y ahí ajá. tenía, ajá. Ahí tenía otra pregunta. Uh -huh. El los que estaba en la lectura es noun. De perdido. Sí, sí. sí. Y pero con es, C es el verbo. Exacto, pero sería el pasado. Porque luz es el presente. No, es que eso tenía dudas. O sea, los es perdi, perder de verbo. Sí. Luz. Sí. Luz, así no. como se lo puse en el chat, es perder. Usted dice, oh. Ay, yo pierdo mis llaves todo el tiempo. I lose my, key all, my keys all the time. Si usted las perdió, usted dice oh. lost. 
All right. Y en, ese, ese y es el en past participle es siempre es los. Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ahora, ahí, y en pasado también es los. Sí. Ahí en, en, la, en la conversación dice los. Es pérdida. Pérdida de, como tal. Pérdida de empleados, pérdida de clientes, uh -huh. pérdida de confianza. Ajá, como un nombre. Exacto, sí. Uh -huh. y, y, y lo sé, se puede decir así. Es que me acuerdo que una vez en una clase vimos algo así, pero yo no sé si es que la teníamos mala o que o lo escribimos mal. Según yo, el Paz Paris por era el Loce. No, los, los, los. Entonces, que quizás nos equivocamos. Sí. <ríe> es la práctica. Sí. <ríe> y por eso fue que me quedó la duda. Ajá. Sí, Pero porque... entonces esa palabra sí no existe. Ni así. Fíjese que lucen sí. Esta sí, es, esta sí mire, uh, Vane. Lucen así como se la acabo de escribir. Ah, sí. ah. Que eso es, es como aflojar. Por ejemplo, a usted le, dice, le digo yo, sus cintas, se han aflojado sus cintas. Las cintas uh -huh. de zapato. Entonces, uh -huh. luce. Uh -huh. The shoelaces have oh. been, like, they are loose. Uh -huh. Luce. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ese sí es aflojar. De aflojar. Sí. Aflojar. Ese es el verbo en, en, el, en su forma base. Luce. O, en, o siempre en, en otro tiempo. Sí, ese es en el participio. Ah, el par y siempre viene siendo el, el mismo de luz. Sí, viene, es viene por, esa, por esa línea, digamos, Vane. Ah, uh -huh. a ver, ya me All quedó right. más claro eso. Pero, yeah, pero, pero, bueno, <risa> Very good, Vane. Identidad. Thank you, teacher. Sí, pero tiempo. vamos súper bien, Vanecita, la felicito. Thank you, teacher. Yes, very Tratamos nice. De aprender. Claro, claro. Thank you, sí. teacher. Good night. Bye, good night. Descanse. Bye. Bye. Gracias, igual.